These are fine dogs. But they get better. We start with a smaller guy who came up just short in the dunk contest, Kenny Smith, who was almost king for a day in 1990. And you're wondering, how does a guy lose doing something like this? Good, good question. This one looks like a good one. Yes! Kenny, who says big men can't get down? Look at Larry Nance. His two-ball dance was good enough to sink Dr. J in 84. But then Larry left for the first round by and some parting gifts in 85. At number eight, we combined two other guys who never won but easily could have. Aaron Stansberry and Sean Kemp. Stansberry played along in 85 and 86 and 87, but lost to some other big names on our list. And although he could jump very, very high, Sean Kemp fell short on four total contests. Are you kidding, though? We all got really pumped up for number seven. Don't look now. It's D. Brown. <laughs> oh, my. That's, that's the cherry on the sundae. And whether he could see during this no-look jam, that really doesn't matter, does it? Who cares? I mean, it was cool, and it got the hardware in 91, and, and he won it all there. When Kobe hit the scene in 97, no one knew what to expect, so number eight set us straight. Even with the first round 37, Kobe rose the occasion, took home the crown, and shortly thereafter started growing more hair. Yeah, speaking of hair, are you kidding? What about Julius Irving at number five? He paved the way for future flights back when they still played with funny-looking balls. Although he beat out David Thompson for the ABA title in 76, Doc failed to win in two tries in the NBA. By the way, he was the first man to do this. And that sends everyone reeling. Julius Irving. It's hard to give someone who's listed at 5'7 and can jump over a car a rank as low as 4. Yeah. But for what it's worth, Spud blew us away after this bounce off the backboard and had to carry a trophy in 86 that was almost bigger than he was. God bless us, everyone. The human highlight film, two dunk titles for Dominique. He's at number three and a close loss to Michael Jordan and arguably the best showdown ever. We'll be quiet now. I think we all knew if Insanity could jam, but 2000 was a joke. Things were over before they started in this high jump event. Carter would later use hand signals in case the judges weren't sure. Oh, it's over! It's over, ladies and gentlemen! And a number one baby Jordan just won't do. The original's the one, originality being his thing.